Recently, a video uh, came up involving a Tennessee pastor by the name of Donnie Reagan. He's from the Happy Valley Church, although he doesn't seem very happy in the videos we're about to show you. He goes off on a rant regarding biracial babies. He has a really, really big problem kind with this. a grown this. man calls himself Donnie. <laughs> Brother Donnie. Brother Come on. Brother Donnie. Brother Donnie. Brother Donnie. Um, so let's go ahead and watch him rail against uh, children that are a product of biracial marriage. There's, there's a move in the message of blacks marrying whites, whites marrying blacks, and folks think it's all right. But you know what? My God still has nationalities outside the city. Now watch this. Brother Bram says, how breeding, how breeding, how terrible how breeding. The hybrid, the people. They, it's a big molding pot. I got hundreds of precious colored friends that's born again Christians. But on this line of segregation and things that they're talking about, how breeding the people, what? Tell me what a fine cultured, fine Christian colored woman, fine Christian colored woman would want her baby to be a mulatto by a white man. No, sir. It's not right. What in the world is he talking about with nationalities outside the yeah, city? Yeah, what does that even mean? Yeah, I don't know, but the one thing that I really do want to... You guys know what high breeding means? <laughs> I don't know. I have it's no idea what high breeding is. It's a molding pot. It's a molding pot, yeah. But, but, I mean, if anything, doesn't this video prove how wrong MSNBC was about that tweet, about the Cheerios commercial, and how right-wingers wouldn't like the interracial Cheerios commercial? Well, who knows? <laughs> Maybe he's a liberal. <laughs> I, I liked, uh, there's a move in the message of blacks marrying whites, whites marrying blacks. Uh, that's the same thing, Don. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But look, he wants to assure all of us that he's not racist, no, no, okay? No, um, so let's go ahead and watch uh, video number four, uh, where he specifies how much he loves black women. Oh, interesting. Tell me what good, smart, intelligent, beautiful colored woman. And you tell me what KKK guy would call a black woman beautiful. You tell me what white supremacists would call any black woman beautiful. This is not from a white supremacist. This is not from a racist. This is from a prophet of God. Watch him honor and give respect. Not putting the white above the other or the black above the other. Beautiful color woman would want to have a baby by a white man to make it a mulatto. Not sense. Many things the color, now listen white folks, many things the color people has is far beyond the white man. This is not a white supremacist saying this. This is not a, a racist saying this. This is a man who loves truth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what is that I, I, I still, I heard it the same way again. This is a man who loves Jews. That can't be what he's saying. No, I think he said truths. <laughs> truths. So uh, <laughs> I don't know where in the Bible it says that you can't like mix the races. And but if and uh, this argument that they make about how it's not natural, right? But according to who, if it happens in nature, it is by definition natural. Well, he tries to so, claim. He tries to claim in other videos that it doesn't even happen in nature. That like white corn and yellow corn shouldn't mix. It's <laughs> just like absolutely insane. Like so, some things are unnatural. If if a lion mates with a zebra, you're not going to get anything, right? Exactly. Apparently, God did not intend that. If you believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. But when white people and black people mate, they get kids. It's like this guy <laughs> thinks they get perfectly fine kids. It's like That's this what guy they get. That we're not the same species or something. Right. And I love his argument. Like the reason that you brought the second video up is so that he could really prove to us that he's not racist, right? right? Like, well, I, what I kind of a KKK beautiful. member, yeah. what kind of a white supremacist or supremacist or whatever he or said. Or supremacist. Supremacist, yeah. Right. Would, would, would call a black woman beautiful. Well, maybe the type, like the plantation owner, who was fucking raping his black slaves the entire, I mean, come on. That's not yeah. a new argument either. You can't just come out in front and say, I think black women are beautiful, so I'm not a bigot. Yeah. That you're the worst fucking kind of bigot. I, I don't know. I mean, I can't even, you know, look, we can't even take this guy seriously, uh, even though his God has nationalities outside the city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. He, I no. believe he called himself a prophet of God. If he did, God would might want to whisper in his ear about his clothing selection. His yeah. clothing selection and also the way that he communicates. Is that really a successful way of communicating? And if it is, should we also use that in our broad? Should we also talk like that? Now listen up. Now listen up. Should we also talk like this? <laughs> like, I don't understand why people find that appealing. But by the way, that's so it's not just him in his basement, though. There is some congregation there that is cheering him on. It sounds small, but yeah, but there are people there. Yeah. He's got a lot of microphones. I don't 
I don't know, Jake. Maybe it's, we should try talking like that. Well, Mike, you no, maybe don't get me started. <laughs> Brother Donnie Reagan, Happy Valley Church of Jesus Christ. Tennessee, yeah. right? Yeah. It doesn't sound happy yeah, to me. Um, by the way, here's a telltale sign that somebody's about to tell you something racist when they uh, preface it by saying, now listen, this is not racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the same thing Sarah Palin did about the slavery, the infamous slavery comments. Yeah. Mm. She said twice, now this is not racist, this is not racist, but having debt is like slavery. Mm, except yeah. for the rape part and the imprisonment yeah. part and the kidnapping part and all the other parts. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, wanna, I can't get enough of this guy. Let's do one more. Let's do video six. All right, let's go. <laughs> and let me tell you right up front, any of you young people, you want to marry a black man, you girls, don't ask me to do it because I will not. I refuse. I cannot do it with a conscience toward God and look these quotes in the face. You white brothers, you find a black sister, you want a man, African or whatever more, don't ask Brother Donnie, I'll, I'll quit church, suit yourself. Amen. I'd rather you quit than me get in trouble with God. Amen. Well, glory. Well, glory. <laughs> <laughs> So he loves, he loves black people, but obviously there are none in his congregation because he said, all you white men, you want to marry black women, or all you white women, you want to marry a black right. man. Yeah. There's no fucking way a black person would go to that sermon. Okay, there's, that's two surprising things I learned from that last clip. <laughs> One, blacks aren't in his congregation. Wow, I didn't <laughs> see that coming. And then number two, uh, I love that he stands, says all that stuff as if it's a dramatic announcement at the end. Right. And by the way, if you want me to marry you, after this massively racist speech where I say the <laughs> Races shouldn't mix. I won't do it. No. Yeah. You imagine <laughs> really. You imagine there's a 19 year old girl in Johnson City, Tennessee, white girl in that congregation, falls in love with a 21 year old black guy, and they think they're going to get married. And she's like, I know a lot of people will be angry about this, but I love you. I want to spend my life with you. Uh, let's go to Brother Donnie. He'll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't see that part of the conversation taking place. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I like the. I'm going to look these quotes in the face. I can't look these quotes in the face. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs>